Hello, in today's video I am going to answer the question why do bitcoins have value? Bitcoin or uh, BTC USD uh, is often referred uh, to as digital currency and as an alternative to central bank controlled fiat money. However, the latter is valuable because uh, it is issued by a monetary authority and is widely used in, a, in an economy. In an economy sorry. Bitcoin's network is decentralized and the cryptocurrency is not used much in retail transactions. One can argue that Bitcoin's value is similar to that of precious metals. Both are limited in quantity and have select use cases. Uh, precious metals uh, like gold are used in industrial applications, with Bitcoin underlying the technology the blockchain uh, has some application across the financial services industries. Bitcoin's digital provenance means that it might even serve as a medium for retail transactions one day. Why traditional currencies have value? There are six key attributes to a useful currency. Uh, scarcity, divisibility, acceptability, portability, durability, and resistance to counterfeiting, uh, uninformity. These qualities allow uh, currency to find widespread use in an economy. They also limit monetary inflation and ensure that the currencies are secure and safe to use. Currency is useful if it works uh, as a store of value. Or to put it differently, uh, if it can reliably maintain its relative value over time. Throughout history, many societies uh, used commodities or precious metals as methods of payment, because they were considered to have relatively stable value. Rather than carry around uh, cumbersome quantities of cocoa beans, gold or other early forms of money, societies eventually turned to minted currency as an alternative. The first such currencies used metals like gold, silver and bronze, which had a long uh, shelf life and little risk of uh, depreciation. Assigning value to currencies is a matter of debate. Initially, their value comes from in strict physical properties. For example, gold's value comes from the cost of extraction and certain qualitative factors, such as luster and purity content. In the modern age, government-issued currencies often uh, take the form of the paper money, which does not have the same intrinsic security and precious metals. For a long time, the value of paper money was determined by the amount of gold backing it. Even today, some currencies are represented meaning that each coin or note can be directly exchanged for a specified amount of commodity. The idea of currency value began changing in 17th century. Uh, prominent Scottish economist John Law wrote that uh, money currency issued by a government or monarch is not the value for which goods are exchanged, but the value uh, by which they are exchanged. In other words, the value of a currency is a measure of its demand and its ability to stimulate trade and business within the outside and economy. This uh, thinking hues closely to the modern credit theory for monetary systems. In this theory, commercial banks create money and value for currencies by leading to borrowers who use the money to purchase goods and cause currency to circulate in an economy. After countries abandoned the gold standard in an, uh, in an effort to curb concerns uh, about gold supplies, many global currencies are now classified as fiat. Fiat currency is issued by a government and not backed by any commodity, but rather by the faith that individuals and governments have that others will accept that current currency. Today, most major global currencies are fiat. Many governments and societies have found that fiat currency is the most durable and least uh, susceptible to loss of value over time. The value of fiat currencies uh, is a function of their demand and supply. The United States dollar is considered valuable because of the world's biggest economy uses it and it dominates the flow of payments in the international trade. The value of digital currencies. Any 
discussion about the value of Bitcoin must address the nature of currency. Gold was useful as currency uh, due to its inherent physical uh, attributes, but it was also uh, cumbersome. Paper money was an improvement, but it requires manufacturing and storage and lacks of mobility of digital currencies. The digital evolution of money was moved away from physical attributes and towards more functional characteristics. Here's an example. During the financial crisis, Ben Bernanke, who was then the governor of the Federal Reserve, operated on CBS 60 Minutes. minutes and explained how the agency rescued insurance giant American International Group, AIG, and other financial institutions from bankruptcy by lending money to them. Puzzled and the interviewer asked whether the Fed had manufactured billions of dollars that wasn't quite the case. So, why does Bitcoin have value? Bitcoin does not have the backing of government authorities nor does they have a system of intermediary banks to propagate it, its use. A decentralized network consisting of uh, independent nodes is responsible for approving consensus-based transactions in the Bitcoin network. There is no fiat authority in the form of a government or other monetary authority to act as a counterparty to risk and make lenders whole, so to speak, if a transaction goes away. The cryptocurrency does display some attributes of a fiat currency system. However, it is uh, scarce and cannot be counterfeited. The only way that one would be able to create a counterfeit Bitcoin would be by executing what, it, uh, what is known as double spend. This refers to a situation in which a user spends or transfers the same Bitcoin in two or more separate settings effectively creating a duplicate record utility that makes double spending unlikely or so uh, tough is the size of the bitcoin network a so-called 51 percent attack in which a group of miners theoretically control more than half of all network power would be necessary by controlling a majority of all network power this group could uh, dominate the reminder of the network to falsify records However, such an attack on Bitcoin would require overhauling amount of effort, money and computing power, thereby rendering the possibility extremely unlikely. But Bitcoin often fails the utility test because people rarely use it for retail transactions. The main, the main source of value for Bitcoin it is scarcity. The argument for Bitcoin's value it is similar to that of gold a commodity that shares characteristics with the cryptocurrency. The cryptocurrency is limited to a quantity of 21 million. Bitcoin is much more divisible than fiat currencies. One Bitcoin can be divided into up eight decimal places, with consistent units called satoshis. Most fiat currencies can only be divided into two decimal places for everyday use. If Bitcoin's price continues to rise over time, users will a tiny fraction of uh, Bitcoin will still be able to make transactions with a cryptocurrency. The development of side channels such as the Lightning Network may further boost the value of Bitcoin's economy. Thank you, you are listening uh, a video about why Bitcoin is valuable.